There's a lot of powerful people in high places who want to deceive us. But sound, the sound faith is Jesus Christ. He doesn't deceive. He is the beautiful Savior who tells the truth. He's the beautiful Savior that gave his life for us. He doesn't deceive us. He tells us the truth. He said that he's the lamb that's come to shed his blood for us. And so here Paul is warning that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. So don't be deceived by the media. Don't be deceived by the world. Don't be deceived by all that goes on today. But remember that Christ is the truth, that Christ is the way, and that Christ is the one that can save us, that Christ is the one that can speak into our generation. Christ is the one that can speak into our times. Christ is the one that can deliver us in these days. Christ is the one that can help us. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in him, in all things, which is the head, even Christ. But speaking the truth in love we don't condemn people, but we speak truth in love, but we speak the truth. We have to speak the truth, because the truth will set us free, the truth will open our eyes, the truth will show us what is the right thing. You cannot have love without truth. A lot of people today, when they go on these Trump marches, anti-Trump marches, they want to be open-minded, but they want to be open-minded without the truth. They want to love without the truth, but you can't have real love unless you have truth. Truth and love go together. If you say to a little kid, don't go near the fire, you're telling them the truth and you love them. Truth is so important and love is so important, but truth and love go together. And Jesus showed truth and love at the cross. He was truthful 